Hi, today I'm going to talk to you about the Jane Davenport Magic Wand colored pencils. Now these pencils have been out for a few years now, but uh, um, this is the first time I've tried them. I bought them at um, Michael's in Augusta, Maine last week, and I've been working with them and um, getting used to them, and, um, and I noticed when I first started coloring with them, uh, they reminded me a lot of the uh, Faber-Castell Gold Fabers. So I thought I would also do a little um, comparison between the two as well, and then talk about uh, a couple of the different papers I've colored on, and some of my uh, final thoughts. So let's take a look. Yeah. Well, here's the swatch. There's 24 in the set. And I think uh, the, the color choices are mainly f uh, for use as a supplement to other pencils and uh, designed specifically for portraits such as these, the kind that Jane Davenport creates herself. And we'll have a look at one of them. Now they have little cutesy names. This one is called Kiss Kiss. I don't know what the milliliter is on these barrels. I couldn't find information on that. But they do seem a bit thicker than the uh, Goldfarbers. And uh, one of my favorite names is, I don't know if you could see that or not, it's called 70s Eyeshadow. <laughs> uh huh. Here are some of the other names. Um, you've got Bear, Flamingo, Buff. Candy Floss, Feather and Mystic, Butterfly, Dragonfly, Ink, Mermaid, Emerald, Jiminy, Buzzy, Egg Yolk, Heartthrob. Now, I mean, that's fine for somebody, you know, who's an artist and ha doesn't have uh, color blindness. <laughs> if you do, if you are an artist and do have color blindness, you might need help in determining what color these actually are. But anyway, I uh, decided to do uh, some work in Joanna Bassford, Bassford's World of Flowers. Um, whoops. Now, the paper in this book, um, all pencils that I've tried in this book love this paper and the uh, Davenports were no exception. And I also um, used them on top of acrylic and watercolor and marker as well. Uh, one of the things that Jane Davenport pencils uh, uh, claim is that they are meant to be used with multimedia, such as acrylic. And um, some of these uh, smaller flowers here were done with a base of acrylic. And then um, these bigger flowers here, and this one, they were done on top of a base of watercolor, and they work just fine on top of the paints. And uh, they also mat they, they also feel the same as the gold fibers going down on this paper. And uh, just so you know, these are the gold fibers. I have uh, the set of 12 and a dozen open stock. And the difference is the gold fibers are, have capped ends. And they have uh, numbers on them. Although you can go to the uh, Faber-Castell website and get the actual color names which I put on this card here. 
and um, the uh, Goldfarbers claim to be a 3.3 milliliter, and I think the Davenports are bigger than that, probably closer to a 3.8. I also decided to see, well, how do, how do these work on create space paper? You know, that uh, kind of crappy paper that uh, Amazon uh, puts out coloring books. And I'm happy with the results. Now, they do require a lot of layering, but if you use a light hand and uh, don't uh, use too much pressure all at once, they're fine. Uh, I don't mind layering. You can go with a heavy hand if you want, but um, I think on on paper like this, it's better to go with light lighter layers. You couldn't uh, your you know hand could start bothering you if you especially if you obsess about coloring up all the the white. Uh, in the paper that kind of shows through because of the uneven tooth of the paper. But all in all, I think they work just fine on this paper. Now, um, here's my comparison between the two pencils and uh, they're very comparable. Uh, in vibrancy and the way they lay down. They're both very smooth. They both uh, blend um, about the same way. And um, one thing about the Davenports, there's no true orange. So what I did was I took the heartthrob and the buzzy and combined it and made an orange to match um, the dark cadmium orange in the gold fibers. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. There's the contrast between the two pencils. And they match in vibrancy. Bo both uh, are fairly expensive for the amount of pencils you get. Uh, but the Gulf Fibers, you will pay a few dollars more. Um, at the uh, Michaels, which I purchased, uh, the Davenports, I had a 20% off coupon. So I got them around for around twenty dollars. Now, because the Davenports do claim to work with uh, multimedia, I took some black acrylic and tried out the white on the black, and I did notice that the gold fiber is much more uh, opaque. Um, that's one of the weaknesses of these pencils. The white um, is just about useless. I, I don't uh, think it's worth it. I think they would have been better off replacing the white with another, like maybe uh, a brown. Um, yeah, I think another brown would have been nice instead of the white because you can see the difference. Now, um, some of the pros for the Davenports are the smooth and creamy lay down. I mean, they, they color like butter. Um, I had no issue I, with cramp, hand cramping. Um, you know, I they do stress. The way to color with these is with light layers, and they work beautifully uh, with that technique. And they're vibrant with multi-layering. Yeah, so you can see the colors here. There we go. Um, and they, they blend very nice together. Um, I didn't have any issues with as far as, you know, they, there's a nice transition here. And the colors seem to work well together as far as, uh, you know, the lights, the, um, uh, what do you call that? When you have like a more orange red and a more true red and a more green blue and a more violet blue, um, you can pretty much tell which is which and, and, and how you blend them. And uh, no sharpening issues. I, and I used, I tried out the uh, both the Faber Castell sharpener and the Prismacolor sharpener. 
and both worked just as well on these pencils. I had no breakage issues. And, uh, and of course they work well with paints and markers. Um, the, the cons, of course, are the limited color palette. There's only 24 in this set. I don't, they might uh, have come out with a bigger sets since then. I don't know, but um, there's only 24 colors in this pattern. Like I said, the, uh, the white is just about useless. Um, and it doesn't, it doesn't even layer, over, uh, layer well over black acrylic. Um, and there's no true orange or green. Um, this is the greenest green, which is the, the Jiminy. And you can see it's uh, kind of like a, a yellow green. The next green is emerald, which is uh, more of a blue, a blue green. And then in the ink and the dragonfly are more of a violet blue. And, and uh, the butterfly is a blue green, as is the mermaid. And the Jiminy is their only real green, and it's very light. It's, um, like I said, it's a, a yellow green. And the, or the, the, the um, orange, if you will, is called contour. It's this one. And um, it has more of a peach tone to it. So, um, like I said, I think these are designed more for uh, portraits in the style of uh, Jane Davenport's art. And um, the retail price uh, for them at Michael's was twenty four ninety nine, and I had a twenty percent coupon. But you can probably find an even a forty percent coupon and use them. I didn't have one on me, but uh, um, I would recommend that. Try to get a better deal on them because of you know the the color choice is limited. And I think I've been I've been coloring a, a page with them currently, and I'm using them in in combination with the uh, uh, gold fibers with between um, the, tw the uh, 12 and the uh, 12 open stock of ha have of these and these I get a good color a better color range than I would with just these so in conclusion this is I, I really like these pencils I like the way they lay down they're very comfortable to use they're smooth they're creamy they're vibrant and um, just keep in mind that they are a good supplement to your other pencils. As a standalone, you're kind of limited with what you can do. So that is my little review of the Jane Davenport Magic Wand colored pencils. Thanks for watching.